Hello, my name is Paul Nylander, and I'm with IMC's U.S. partner, IMC DataWorks. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about IMC's FAMOS Reader. FAMOS Reader is a free visualization and documentation tool and is part of the FAMOS Data Analysis Suite. Although the Reader excludes FAMOS's data analysis and macro engine, it is still the most powerful tool around for visualizing and documenting measurement data and we believe will satisfy the needs of many people involved in test and measurement. Why not try it yourself? So let's get started. When you first start FAMOS Reader, you will see a file browser similar to that used in Windows Explorer. We'll start with this, although in a later video, I'll also show you the even more powerful data browser. Two mouse clicks is all it takes, and data from the many formats FAMOS can import is opened and easily displayed. Here, I use the file browser to select several data files to load. The data channels from those files appear in the variable list, where I can easily select some or all the channels and click on the display button from the toolbar to show them in what we call a curve window. With data loaded, channel information is just a click away with the information button in the toolbar and a trash button will remove data from the FAMOS reader variable list. But don't worry, your data is still safe and sound on disk. Next, I want to show you a really handy feature of the FAMOS reader. To demonstrate this, I'm going to grab a set of measurement data on my computer with the goal to display and compare different measurements to one another, all inside of one curve window. This FAMOS helps us by allowing only one version of each named channel I want to put FAMOS Reader into a dynamic loading mode. I open the Options dialog, which is found under the Extra menu. On the left side, I click Load and choose Selection Mode on the right side. This makes all file loading through the file browser dynamic, or if you prefer, temporary. And here is why this helps. I reload all my data, and you can see that the selected files in the middle section of the file browser are now colored yellow. A further hint is seen on the right hand section where the individual channels show the dynamic loading symbol in front of the channel name. This isn't about yellow icons. What you see is that selecting a different measurement on the left side immediately loads the new measurements data automatically updating the data in my curve window. These buttons at the top of the directory listing allow me to easily, manually, or automatically step through all of my measurements refreshing my curve window with each step. And, if the update speed from measurement to measurement is too fast, or too slow, it can be easily adjusted using the options menu. This is pretty cool. The feature I want to show you is the Quick View window. To demonstrate the power of Quick View, I've loaded a new measurement into FAMOS Reader, which consists of about 40 channels. Using the procedure I showed you before, it would take quite a while to open a curve window for each of these 40 channels. So instead, I grabbed the special Quick View window, hidden up here in the Extra menu. At first glance, the Quick View window looks like an ordinary curve window. But you can quickly see the difference as I select different channels from the variables list. The Quick View window automatically shows whatever is selected in the variables list and is dynamically updated the instant I change my selection. The next feature of FAMOS Reader I want to show you is the Waveform Editor. As you will see, the Waveform Editor is something of a spreadsheet view, but designed specifically for measurement data. Again, I will load some data using the Reader's file browser. With my variables selected, I bring up a curve window to view the data, and then I will bring up the Waveform Editor using the extra menu or the convenient toolbar button. Dragging this special button from the Waveform Editor's toolbar, I designate the curve window to link to by where I drop the linking tool. Once linked, when the cursor in the curve window is moved, the Waveform Editor is scrolled to match, showing the actual measurement values in the Waveform Editor corresponding to the graphical view in the curve window. What you also might not expect is that I can view the data in the Waveform Editor taking into account the original trigger time and sample rate. Selecting this mode, you can immediately see that the data I'm viewing is sampled at three different sample rates. In time corrected mode, 
the height of the cells in the spreadsheet represents the correct relation of the time per sample. As the name implies, the waveform editor can also be used to edit individual samples within the data curve stored in memory. I want to wrap up this video and our survey of the FAMOS reader by talking about the report generator. As the name suggests, the report generator completes the reader by allowing you to document your measurement data. First, the report generator is launched from the toolbar icon or from the extra menu. Creating your first report is easy. I'll show you how. I'll start by creating a visual frame for my report, then use a text element to create a report title. Finally, I select the Curve Object tool to draw a placeholder for my curve window. The report generator is aware of the contents and layout of a curve window when it is placed within the report. You may have noticed that after I drew the curve object frame, the mouse pointer changed appearance. With this linking cursor, all I need to do is click on the curve window I wish to import into the report, and the curve window contents are rendered automatically in the report for me. The report is always shown in its final printable form. In this case, the curve data was rendered in the report generator in black and white, because that's what my curve window's printer color settings were preset to. I'll not bore you with my dragging and dropping, but instead just load a previously created report, which is a little more interesting to look at. In this case, the report was saved with some previous data. Reusing this report, or treating it as a template, is actually very easy. I can simply drag and drop a curve window onto the previously created report, replacing the existing contents of one of the curve objects. The drag and drop functionality applies to other elements of the report generator as well, including tables and text elements, which can be filled with curve data or other useful information. With that, I will conclude the first part of the FAMOS Reader tutorial. Be sure to check out subsequent video tutorials and download the reader itself from imcfamos.com or through your local distribution partner, such as imcdataworks.com, for U.S. customers.